Today, we're going to look at Star Trek technologies and how they'll play out in the human future. In some ways, we're already Star Trek, particularly in computing. The communicator, despite providing instantaneous planet-wide communications, looks rather bulky and kitschy compared with today's smartphones. And don't you think that we'd integrate tricorder and even phaser capabilities into the same device? Hello, computer. We already have wearable computers, and we're working on processors integrated directly into the brain. Combine this with biomechanical enhancements, and soon we'll start to look a little familiar. I am Locutus. A universal translator isn't far off. With algorithms translating in real time, soon everyone will be fluent in Klingon. Live long and prosper. In other ways, we probably won't quite be Star Trek, but we might be closer than you think. Although I doubt we'll ever have a holodeck, virtual reality allows us to experience fully immersive visual environments and we're starting to add tactile elements. I am the goddess of empathy. Similarly, replicators powerful enough to produce anything are probably fantasy. Gee, oh, right. Hot. But 3D printing will soon allow us to achieve much of the same capability. We're even printing food. I shall try some of your burned replicated burned meat. We've made some medical advances too. Though we can't recrystallize a skeleton, drilling holes in his head's not the answer. We already have medical imaging and hyposprays. Cloaking devices might never happen, but you can achieve a partial effect with stealth technology and a light bending coat. And despite rampant reports of abductions, it seems pretty clear that intelligent aliens aren't as common as Star Trek suggests. He is not very attractive, but I will have him. However, unless humanity destroys itself, there definitely will be aliens. They'll just be the descendants of humans on other worlds. If we met an alien species, could we breed with it? How big is your starship? It's difficult to imagine how this would be possible. But, with serious genetic manipulation, it's anyone's guess. And it might not be as hard as it seems. We think it's even possible to produce a human-chimpanzee hybrid naturally, if you know what I mean. You're so damned ugly. Some Star Trek technologies, like time travel, might never happen. Well, that's only partly true. Everyone travels into the future already. And to speed it up, all you need to do is accelerate near a gigantic black hole. The challenge is going backwards in time, and this is difficult to do without destroying the universe. What about transporters? Teleporting simple things like photons is possible, but your body contains more information than all the atoms in the universe. Transporting you away shouldn't be too hard. Teleporting you back with everything in the right place is the problem. Suppose they went nowhere. And if there's one technology that defines Star Trek, it's warp drive. Although it might be possible to someday travel faster than light, it's unlikely in the next few hundred years. Instead, we'll probably expand into our solar system first, developing the capabilities to one day colonize other stars. In the long run, we could expand out across the galaxy this way. This could be just as exciting as Star Trek. There's a whole universe out there waiting for us.